make a video about masters of architecture in Italy. What about Italy? A lot of you have been asking me about making a video on Italy specifically. And I wasn't aware that why a lot of students are asking me about this particular country. So I researched about it and it took me around a week or two to get all this information that I'll be sharing with you today. I have spoken to students that are studying there. I have done some basic ground level research about the information that I'm going to share with you all. In this video, I'll be sharing the best courses to do over there, the best universities that you can go to, the cost of living, the cost of education, the postgraduate work permit and the current scenario, the market scenario over there. So try watching this video till the end. And before I start this video, I would like to thank all of you for supporting my channel. And today, this channel is 50,000 subscriber plus. I would like to thank you and all the people who have subscribed to the channel for making this day possible today. So thanks again. And guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead, subscribe. I'm a fellow architect trying to make a difference in architecture students' life and an architect's life. Because I know, I know the pain that you are going through and why you are looking to do masters abroad. That's why I'm here in Canada and I have searched a lot. I have seen a lot. I have researched a lot and that's what i'm sharing with you today so yes support the channel and if you are already supporting keep supporting thank you so much and without any delays let's get started with the video guys first let's start with the courses so first course on my list is sustainable architecture and design from sos school of sustainability this is a 10 month course and you will have to shed around 14 lakh rupees for this specific course. And this one is one of the most expensive course that I have on the list. Second course that I have is Architecture Construction City from Politecnico di Torino. This is in Milan and this is one of the cheapest course now. Uh, you will have to just spend 5 lakh rupees for two years of course from this university. This is a government university, so the admission might be a little tougher to get into, but overall the university ratings are good. Uh, a lot of Indian students are applying for this university, so you can go ahead and check out this course specifically. Next course is Design Architecture from Poly Design Institute in Milan, and this course cost around 16 lakh rupees for two years. So again, if you see overall, uh, it is still cheaper than what courses we get in Canada for 24, 25 lakhs a year. You are getting these courses just for 16 lakh rupees for two years. Next course is Architecture Built Environment in Interiors. Okay guys, a small change over here. I did go to their website, but I wasn't able to see this specific course. They have landscape architecture, they have architecture heritage and architecture sustainability. You guys can go ahead and uh, click on the links that I have provided in the description. You will find all the details on their website. Next one is urban design course from Sapienza University in Rome. Uh, this course again will cost you around 6 lakh rupees for two years. And again, a government recognized university, one of the best in Italy. So you can go ahead and check out this university. There are other courses as well in this university. So go ahead and check those out as well. But this one took my interest uh, because a lot of students, a lot of Indian students are pursuing this particular course. Next course is basically it's free. Uh, it's called architecture composition. I wasn't sure. Uh, what was exactly taught in this course. It's basically a theory based course uh, that you can go for. But the catch is this course is totally free. Uh, I wasn't sure that if it's 100% free, but I went to the website and they as well mentioned it's from zero to 3000 euros. So you can you can make your uh, guess according to that i'm still not sure because it's not mentioned on the website uh, there is a merit list uh, they have mentioned about that if you come into first merit list you will have 400 dollars 400 euros 
off from your fees and if you come into second merit list that means you 200 euros off from your college fees so this is the overview of the best courses in italy and there are few more courses over there that i have already mentioned in the description below so go ahead and check that out now let's talk about the work permit what kind of work permit that you will get after completing your course so every international student uh, that graduate from any it italian university from masters you will have around 12 months to look for a job basically you have to look for a job in the field that you have done your bachelor's and then your master's in. So once you get a job, uh, you will have to give up your post uh, graduation study work permit that you have that will just allow you to work for 20 hours uh, and apply for this uh, resident work permit that will give you eligibility to work for full time. So this is how it works in Italy. I think so the similar process is uh, used in France as well. Uh, but in Italy, you can get the work permit up to two years. In France, you have to update your work permit uh, every year. So that is something that I wanted to highlight. And the cost for application for work permit is around 90 euros. So again, keep that in mind as well. Now talking about the, the monthly expenses for all the students. So uh, I researched online. I saw a lot of studio apartments that were listed from 700 euros to 750 to 850 euros. And there are some studios that are listed for 1000 euros per month. So I am considering like if you can go ahead and stay in a studio, you can get a studio for around 750 euros. And the other thing is there are few rooms also available and listed online that people are ready to give away or like rent out just a room that will be around uh, 550 or 600 euros. I did see online that they were sharing an entire apartment and they have listed a particular room from that apartment. So again, it's on your choice, uh, your will, what kind of people you are living in, you want to decide or you want to uh, search more after reaching there. So it's totally up to you. But overall, a uh, rental is from 550 if you are looking for just a room if you are looking for a studio it will go up to 750 to 800 euros and uh, the monthly expenses over there i spoke to few of the students that are living there they have told me like it easily easily touches 1200 to 1500 euros and if someone is spending a good amount then your uh, expenses can go up to 2000 euros so keep that in mind i don't think so it will go above 1500 because i did all the calculations and everything and it was still coming up to like 1600 dollars 1600 euros not more than that so guys that's it for today's video if you like this video go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel and guys if you have any kinds of doubts queries or any corrections or anything that you want to add on as well you can go ahead and add it add it in the comment section i will pin the correct information if i have gone somewhere wrong so go ahead do that and keep supporting archive vlogs guys take care i'll see you soon bye bye